This is a demonstration of the Maximo Anywhere Issues and Returns application. This is a simple application that allows me to issue or return items from a storeroom. I'm logged in and I have my storeroom set as central. I have three options. I can issue reserved items, I can issue additional items that were not reserved, or I can return items. If the technician comes to the storeroom to pick up items, I can choose to issue reserved items. I can either enter or scan the barcode of a work order to find reserved items based on work order number, or I can look up reserved items based on asset number. In this case, there's a barcode for the work order, so I use that to search for the reservations. I can now see that there's three items reserved on this work order, and there was one of the quantity of each item. I can adjust quantity or I can choose to issue these items by simply pressing the complete button. Now in this scenario if the technician doesn't use all of these items I can simply come back to my original screen and choose to return items. I can either look up items to return based on the work order number or I can choose to look it up based on the item number. So in this case, if I look up item 12853, which is one of the items that we just issued to the work order, I can see the past issues for this particular item. And then down below, I see work order 12102, which is what I just used to issue this particular item. So I'm going to choose to return that item to work order 12102. For my third scenario, there's not a reservation and the technician comes to the storeroom to pick up an item. So I use issue additional items and I can scan the barcode for the item to look it up and I simply just need to enter the work order number and then I can choose to update the quantity or I can leave it at quantity of one. To issue this item, I simply press complete. Now if I change views and I look at the work order in Maximo and I refresh the work order because I haven't refreshed it since I looked at it, I can come and see that there were three items reserved on this work order. Those were the original three items that we searched for and issued. So if I go to the Actuals tab, I can see those three items were issued. But if I go and look, I can also see that the impeller was returned. And then finally, I can see that there was a housing for the pump that was issued as well. If I go to inventory usage, I can see that for that particular work order, since there were three transactions, oh, I need to clear out the status to find completed records. I can see that there are three inventory usage records. The first record is for the original issue. The second record is when the technician returned the impeller because it was not used on the work order. And then the third record is when the housing was issued even though it was not reserved. Thank you, this has been a demonstration of the Maximo Anywhere Issues and Returns application.